What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to make a quick notification using widgets. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. All right, so the first thing I want to do is go and create a new widget. Let's go right click, go to user interface, and let's create a widget blueprint. Let's select the normal user widget, and let's call this something as WB underscore, standing for widget blueprint notification. And then let's go ahead and open this up. So the notification will basically be very simple. It will appear at the right top hand of the screen, go a bit to the left, and then go back out. So first of all, let's go ahead and add a canvas panel to our hierarchy, and that way we can start to add things to our screen. Then what we're going to do is add a text into this canvas, and this will be the notification text. And then let's go ahead and change the anchor to be at the top right, okay? You can do this at this panel. And then let's you know just put the position X, Y, 0, 0, and then alignment 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. That way it is centered. And then I can just go and increase the position Y to be somewhere around here. And then also the X to be somewhere around here. And then we just need to make this a bit bigger, right? So I'm gonna change a bit the size and also the font itself. So maybe like 30 is a bit better, 35. And yeah, and then also even a bit bigger, okay? So with that, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and we can put something as notification test, right? So we know that this will be the notification test itself. Cool, so now that we have that text over there, and it looks pretty cool, now what we need to do is basically, you know, create the animation and so on. So it will appear and disappear and so on. So for this, let's set the position X to be at, well, um, an anchor actually. Yeah, we're gonna put the element at zero. That way, when we have the position X at zero, it is outside of, you know, radius. And I'm even gonna put a bit more. And then that way, it's gonna be easier to create the animation. So let's go ahead and just add a new animation by clicking this button over here. And let's just create the notification animation. Now let's select this notification animation that we have just created. And what we need to do is add this text component to this track. So let's click, you know, track and then click text. And here it is. So now what we can do is start to keyframe the position to create the animation. In this case, we are only interested in the position X, so it will be very simple. So in this case, it will begin at this position, which is 29, so let's just click keyframe. And then let's go a bit further in the timeline, and then move the position X to be, you know, a bit more to the left, around here, I guess. And then we can add another keyframe. As you can see now, we have created this nice interpolation. Then what I'm going to do is go and leave, just slightly move it a bit, okay? And it's gonna be later on. And then another uh, keyframe. That way it will kind of stay a bit there, right? And it's kind of still with a bit of, um, it will not surely stop, but it will be with a kind of uh, drag, right? It will look a lot smoother. And then a bit later, what we can do is just go and go back to its original place, which was around 29, right? And again, keyframe this. And that way we have this really cool animation where it will kind of appear and boom, disappear, right? Nothing crazy, very uh, simple, quick and straightforward, but it is exactly what we need. So now let's go to the graph, delete all of these events, and let's right click and create our own custom event. And what this will be? Well, we're gonna call this something as play, notification animation and now as you can see we have a new notification variable available here so we can just drag this get it and call the play animation node and now when we call from outside this play animation uh, custom event it will just play the animation and of course we could also you know change the text to whatever we want in um in the gameplay but you know i have already covered that in other tutorials and now what I am going to do is just go to the third person character blueprint and just in the gameplay, 
I'm gonna go ahead and create this widget, right? And add it to the player screen. So let's select WB notification and add to uh, viewboard, right? Uh, there's also, as you can see, um, player screen, but in this case, we want viewport. With that said, now we can just compile, save, and press play. Now, nothing will happen. Why? Because we are not calling this notification test custom event that we have um, created here. So, to show you how we can call it from outside, I could go to here, just drag it from the return value and say play notification animation. And that is the one that we have created. And we can just put a little delay of, you know, um, 0.3 seconds. And we can just wait a bit and we will see it. So press play, boom, and there it is. Notification test, and it will go ahead and disappear like it is. The cool thing is that we can also just add a little kind of background to this notification test. So we can just drag an image, set the anchor to be at the top right once again, set the um, position X and zero to be zero, zero <clears throat> and then just uh, copy the size X, right? and also size Y <clears throat> and that way we'll have the same um, kind of uh, let's say uh, scale and also positioning and everything and we can just go ahead and put it a bit higher and then just change the um, brush color to be a bit darker and change the opacity to maybe point, uh, point 0.5 right and then we we'll just put the text on uh, right on the bottom so it will be on top and that way it will be behind and then i'm gonna just change a bit the positioning so it's a bit more um centered and then we can select the animation and again you simply animate it so on the x right at the start it will be like this then on here we will simply move it until here right a bit maybe like here then on here once again we need to adjust it a bit and then going back to its original place kind of like that okay and as you can see we also have this really cool box and the cool thing is that because i did it independently and i didn't like create a um panel and attached it into another canvas or whatever um, the there will be a bit of an um, offset between the background and notifications so we can create really cool effects with that anyway so now as you can see it has this nice background and it looks really cool so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to my channel remember to have full access to the project files to Patreon or youtube members join my other social server to talk with me and to the devs check out my new course with game devs tv and how to make a stealth game in unreal follow me on socials and now yes with all that said bye bye Thank you.